Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. As you can see the latest Galaxy Note has landed. We've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and to be honest after yesterday conference I wasn't really that impressed but after having a go with the device itself today I'm more inclined to like it. It's a pretty decent device and uh, yeah pretty impressed with it. So we're gonna start with the usual unboxing. This is the pin that's inside the small folder that you use to open the SIM tray and a memory card tray. And then inside the actual folder, we also have some paperwork. So we've got the usual quick start guide. As you can see, you know what? I'm gonna work a bit on the exposure, yeah. Um, so explaining where to put the SIM card, where to put the memory card and so on so on, how it works, how to charge the device, the warranty card, two years, uh, regional log guide and how to transfer your content. So if you've got an old Galaxy device, you can use Samsung Smart Switch to transfer the content over. Then we've got the color, which is uh, electric blue, interestingly enough. Uh, we've got the fast charger in the box as well um, which uh, comes supplied in UK then we've got the adapter which is at USB-C to full USB so if you want to connect a mouse keyboard portable hard drive you can do that then we've got another adapter which is the micro USB if you've got an old charger like that to type C which is the new uh, connector in the Galaxy Note then we've got the box standard USB type C cable and we've got the S Pen um, um, S Pen tips thank you <laughs> S Pen tips replaceable uh, replacements uh, in the box as well and let's start with the Note 9. I've also taken the Note 8 just to see, show you what are the differences apart from the obviously the cameras. You've got the different placing of the fingerprint sensor, which is now more comfortable. And yeah, it, you've got it in the back, slightly lower. That's the heart rate sensor itself, which you've got on the back. Uh, apart from that, we've got a power button on the side, SIM memory tray on the top, volume up, volume down, big speed on the left. And then we've got the Type-C headphone jack and second speaker on the bottom plus the S Pen. We've got the um, first speaker on the top and then we've got the dual aperture camera setup on the back plus the LED flash and the heart rate sensor, which is always a nice addition. Now, obviously, this is a glass back and a glass front, so it does, as you can see, catch a lot of fingerprints, but yeah. Apart from that, the phones are very similar, even though the Note 9 has a 0.1 inch bigger screen, which is 6.4 now, as opposed to 6.3. But overall, the footprint stays the same and the device is literally very similar. In terms of the software itself, the phone out of the box runs on Android 8.1 with Samsung Experience 9.5 and an Android security patch level from the 1st of June. So this is very up to date. Um, so yeah, kudos goes to Samsung. In terms of biometrics and security, you can now unlock the phone with your face and your iris and your fingerprint sensor. And you've got the intelligence scan, which works with both the iris and the facial recognition. In terms of uh, screen lock types, you obviously you can use the good old pin password or whatsoever. You don't have to use the iris or anything like that. Uh, you can set the always on display when you want to turn it off. For example, if you don't want the light of the clock to shine on the whole um, area where you add, then we've got the internal storage, which in this case is one to eight plus expandable, obviously with memory cards. Um, there's also a 512 gigabyte version. 
and then we've got RAM which is 6 gigabytes on this device or you get 8 gigabytes of file on the 512 gig version. In terms of advanced features obviously we've got the special pen features now the pen, S Pen right now works as a remote as well so if you're playing a PowerPoint presentation or you've got a Chrome if you press the button it skips the slide if you press it twice it goes back the slide you can customize it as much as you want. Also, the S Pen now takes pictures, so if you want to take a selfie, just press the button on the S Pen and it allows you to take a picture. Now, it's a Bluetooth connection, so it allows you for 200 clicks or 30 minutes work outside the note, and then it's going to fully charge within 30, 40 seconds, so pretty decent for what you get now. Uh, it's essentially a remote that's built into the phone and obviously doubles up as a pen as well. You can even use the S Pen with AR emojis now or if you'd like to you can like doodle underneath the messages with the S Pen so it's pretty cool to be honest. Games which is the game launcher as usual and as usual as always it is with the Samsung you get extra features like smart alert like palm swipe if you'd like to so you swipe with your palm of a hand and you capture a screenshot. Then in terms of display itself, obviously it's um, 2K Ultra HD, <laughs> 2K display, uh, which if you'd like to, you can uh, drop down in terms of resolution itself to full HD or even uh, less than uh, full HD if you want to save some battery life. In terms of sound quality, you get the Dolby Atmos, obviously, with the stereo speakers and the UHQ upscaler, which upscales enhances the audio quality on, of low quality MP3s. In terms of connections, obviously, you've got the Wi Fi, the NFC, the screen mirroring, and so on, so on. So, pretty feature reach. Then with Samsung phones, the Note and the S9, you get access to Fortnite two weeks before the general launch of the Fortnite itself. And then in terms of pre-install apps, you get Samsung SmartThings, which allows you to connect to your fridge and so on and so on. You've got the uh, Microsoft Office, full-fledged Office pre-installed, and then you've got the cameras. So these are the dual aperture with f-stop 1.5 taken directly from the S9 and S9 Plus. So no enhancements really in here, but it still records in super slow mode 960 frames per second, 4K uh, 60 frames per second. However, it's not stabilized. So yeah, overall pretty impressive. But one thing I do really like about the new Note is that the DeX is now built in. So you connect the device via the Type-C to HDMI cable and you do get the fully fledged DeX experience. If you'd like to, you can change that to mirror what you do on your phone. So if you press the button in here, it's going to come up with what you do on your phone. But you can go back to the DeX option and you get the full fledged DeX experience, which is like a desktop experience. This is exactly the same DeX as on the S8, S9. However, it doesn't require any expensive docks like on the Huawei P20 Pro, for example, or the Mate 10 Pro. It's built into the phone itself. Now, if you'd like to, you can use the S Pen or you can use the uh, Touch as a trackpad. Now, if you do use the S Pen, yeah, as you can see, I'm using it as a touchpad. If you'd like to, you can connect a Bluetooth mouse uh, but you can also use the S Pen. Now in terms of the S Pen itself, I didn't understand why it doesn't work at the beginning, but you have to turn the S Pen to work with the DeX and then it works as a mark tool. So if you'd like to, you can use it to mark certain files, but you can also use it as a mouse if you'd like to. Now considering the phone now has 4000 mAh battery, you do get a full day of battery life and with the DeX itself, it's nice that Samsung have thought about that. Um, in terms of the phone itself. Now in terms of the DeX, you do kind of get like a desktop experience. Obviously it's not a Windows or anything like that, but it works really well. It's really fast. You can open more than one Chrome browser. So that's over the Huawei, which only allows you to work with one single app at the time. However, if you 
don't save what you do and you switch off the decks unfortunately you lose all the progress and that's the keyboard if you like to use it so yeah thanks for watching another episode of quick expert reviews and i'll speak to you soon guys bye